guys welcome back to another video and in this one I'm going to kind of show you how to make a canyon as you can see I've got just a flat land that's that I've pasted a bunch of uh, squares that I had modified with different blocks and I've used the the same technique in my mountain making tutorial to make the base of a mountain and we're going to change it up and make it look more like a canyon and more uh, natural and more appealing to the eye so the first thing I want to do, I'm just going to highlight a small section of it from um, that marker over there to over here. I'm going to show you how to how to do it. First thing you want to do is, I I have it up against the back of the wall, so I have to actually replace the whole thing. But we're going to try to replace the bottom row, maybe even the bottom two rows. And I I have it set as sandstone, so I'm going to choose clay, and it's going to change the whole thing but that's okay because we can uh, what we want to keep at the bottom we just move up above so I'm going to keep the bottom two layers as clay the goal we're trying to get is kind of like a stripy look and then we'll go back in and we'll add different colors and then maybe right above it I want to have maybe a stripe of basalt so we're going to change the clay to basalt And then we'll go ahead and change the rest of it. Again, if you're not up against the side of the wall like I am, you could easily just um, highlight the one row that you want to change. And maybe we'll change the basalt to one row of sandstone or two. I'll go ahead and go two. And you want to highlight the next layer. And maybe we'll go one more uh, row of clay. And then we can go back to some sandstone or maybe even limestone. The trick is to kind of have three or four different colors while also kind of keeping it the main reddish brown color because you want it to look like it was it was flat land up at the top and over time it eroded away so there's different layers of rock and then I'll finish it off with some sandstone Now it's it looks a little more like a canyon than the rest do, but it's still not the best. To fix that, you're going to uh, actually this probably would have been a little bit easier if we did it beforehand, but then you'd have a whole bunch of different colors to deal with. But we're going to take the main color of it, which is sandstone, and we're going to maybe do 10% and change that to clay, change a little bit to dirt. That way, it gives it a little bit of extra detail. Maybe I want a little bit more clay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it again and make sure it has more. Throw some dirt. A little bit more. A few different blocks. I throw in salt and iron. It gives it like a rougher mountain look. Maybe some flint. I'm going to do the same with the clay and change that up and I'm going to put 20% because it wasn't adding very much before. And as you can see it kind of just changes it. Makes it look a lot better. And then I'll go 10% for the basalt, 10% for the, the limestone. And then at the very bottom here, I feel like it should be darker, or like a, a little bit more dirty, because it's the one that's touching the current ground. So maybe change that a little bit. I'm going to try to go 
and make sure that the bottom is the only one that gets it. Well, it's not going to grab it over here, so I'm going to do that over here. And then you've got kind of like a dirty mountain look, a canyon. But this isn't all that we can do. We can also, you know, how we got just the line generated and it's kind of blocky. If you take out a few from the corners, you can kind of make it look more, a, a little better than it is. But this is a little time consuming, so if you don't have the time, you can always load up the system components that are the terrain. A lot of people frown upon using them and that's mainly because nobody really knows how to use them right. Because people just paste them over, they don't really take the time. But I'm going to kind of show you how to do that. So we're going to go, I'm going to use Peak, just the regular, because it's like the perfect size for me right now. But as you notice, it's a rock one, so it's all black. If you go to the tools, you can replace clipboard, change the dacite to whatever block you want. Not wood. I don't want a wooden mountain. And now it's sandstone. And then you can do the trick to replace the colors of it and change it to other stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and change that to the same blocks as we're using already. Maybe a little bit less for basalt and limestone. maybe throw in a few extra of the other blocks that we chose because that way it kind of keeps its consistency now that we have that I mean, it looks a little bit better but as you can see comparing it it's more clay than it is sandstone so we might want to take some clay and go back to sandstone with that And after you have the right color that you want, you're going to actually... It's going to look a little bit awkward if you paste it, but um, we're going to fix that. Make sure you do up, you hold up on the D-pad when you push left trigger, so it blends in and it doesn't destroy everything in the box. But you want to choose a few different rotations of it by up on the D-pad and right stick sideways, and a few heights of it as well, because that way it kind of gives it a jagged look make sure it comes in and out different areas. You don't want to have too many but you want to make sure you have enough to get the point across that so this is a jagged mountain. After you've got that we can keep that for now in case we need it again. We're gonna to go to terrain, uh, not that one, that's mine. But we're gonna to go to the system terrain and this time we're going to go to the uh, rock in either large, medium, or small. I do medium because it's kind of balanced. And again, we're going to do the same exact thing as we did before, where we're going to change the color of it. And this can be a little bit tedious, but it, it makes all the difference. This right here, it makes it look a little bit better. And that's kind of what we're trying to do with it. And this whole, this little medium thing, it's for rounding out that mountain that looks a little bit weird. Like as you can see, you can tell that it's just flat and then straight up. So this kind of rounds that out a little bit. Paste it around. I like to rotate it a lot because it kind of gives me different shapes to use. And I start with a wider foundation that kind of blends it in. The large probably would have been a little bit better here, but... It, the smaller one helps me get to like the little rounded areas and don't be afraid to go like kinda up with some of your layers because it'll help it connect to the mountain and it's getting a little bit better you can do this same system pack thing with the grass ones if you're doing like a forest just make sure that you have some grass going up the mountain because that adds a little bit of detail I recently made a mountain on the map and it's probably the best mountain I've ever made. Unfortunately, I have no use for the map right now, so I might just give it away. Who knows? 
pastes are starting to load in with the cues. And you now that, that already looks a little bit better than I did. Of course, if I went and I did like the rounding out of the corners over here, it would look even better. But I've got the whole map surrounded with canyon, so that's going to take a long time to fix. So I might not end up doing that. I might just focus on, you know, the the rest of it because I've got all those scripts that I'm going to be sharing out, and um, progress on that's going pretty good. It's almost entirely done. The perks are the last thing I need to do with them. I've finished everything else with it, and it should be ready to go. So hopefully the terrain has helped you a little bit. You just have to kind of experiment with the different packs that you have. Everybody has the system pack. So, uh, I mean, just experiment around. It's got trees and everything that you could really need to start a basic map. It's got buildings, dungeons, stuff like that. And the terrain, you just got to kind of experiment with it and see where you want it. What, what it kind of applies to your needs and uh, remember paste merging it helps blend them together replacing them will make them look a little bit nicer the smoother the transition from the peak to the rest of the map will help a lot so that's really all I've got for this terrain stuff